corner in the bottom. Alright, now that we have that, um, that's looking pretty good. We'll use this top part here for some navigation. Alright, now let's say the Euro Skills has got um, some basic home pages. Uh, we're going to select the text tool. Uh, and we'll select a font that's similar to the logo. Let's try Arial. And bring it in about 24 points. Smooth will probably look fine. We either I like to use smooth, strong, or sharp usually on a website. Oh, we'll try smooth. And we'll go ahead and... Well, let me click over. Click on the gray area to get it started. And what I do is I write all of my uh, links all in one shot so that's easy to arrange them and space them. Alright, so let's first put a home page, which is pretty much standard. Um, and let's change this from white color to black so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we should have home. Actually, let's click that. Move home to the top. There we go. All right, so we have our home. Let's click the home, home again, and change the size. Let's actually bring it down 14. Let's try. Let's try 18. Okay. Move the home. Try right there. All right, Arial. Instead of Arial, let's try another one. Um, <laughs> let's try Tahoma again. All right, now in the font menu here, and you can get this by going up to Window. Uh, and selecting character. So we'll go up to window, select character. And this will pop up. And right now I believe I have italics set, so that's better. All right, we're gonna eliminate the italics and that's gonna look better there. We have now home. All right, now we're gonna add a space. Let's add uh, skills as another link skills. Um, we also know that it's about Europe, so let's add Euro as another link. Let's add contact. And um, what would be another good one? Let's add stars. Uh, and help as some links. Alright, now that we have all those, we'll go back over the move tool and move this right about like that. All right, now that we have them all separated, let's put in four spaces to separate each. So we already have one, so we'll go one, two, three, four. Go down to the end of the line, do the same thing, one, two, three, four. Same thing again, one, two, three, four. Same thing here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so now we've got some distance. Select the Move tool again, and we will put it right about in the middle, like so, and there's our navigation. All right, now that we have that, uh, let's add some um, headings. So we're going to go over here, select the Text tool again, click down here. And for the beginning heading, uh, let's add about us. There we go. And you've got the about us as the first heading for the home page. Now, let's go over and select the align tool. And by holding control, is it control? No. 
yeah, hold shift down, you can create a line oh, that's perfectly straight. Now the color's white right now. Let's change this to a gray. Okay, and now we have a very similar line that we can add right about here. Hold down the shift key again. Add it like so. And it's going to add that and create one shape that's got two lines in it. Um, now we're going to go back up and select the Move tool. Select the, one of the shapes at the bottom. We can actually see what that looks like. Now we select, go back to Shape 6, and move this around until that actually kind of fits up. All right. We're going to select uh, actually the Move tool again. Select the background shape and see what that looks like. So now we've got our basic logo, some links, navigation, a header, and room to put some text, and a footer. Now that we have all those basic things together, we're going to go up to File, and we're going to select Save. And we're going to go here to My Documents, and select, uh, save this as uh, website. And we're going to maximize the compatibility because there's other people that have different versions of Photoshop I might need to share this with. Alright, now that we've done that, you see how to do a basic layout. You're going to go up to File and select Edit in Image Ready. Image Ready is going to import this. Now this comes standard with Photoshop CS. Uh, it's been eliminated in Photoshop CS3, I believe, but the same features are still a part of Photoshop. They've just integrated it into one single program. Again, check your user manual to see how that works. Um, so now that we've got it in image ready, we have uh, our basic website all ready to go. Now we're going to go up and select the, not the slice tool, but the one next to it, the sli uh, sites actually the slice tool. And we're going to click, we're going to drag, and we're going to create one slice right there that fits where our logo is. Alright, now next to it, we're going to select another slice that's going to fit just inside the white. That's going to select the home. Create another one for skills, another one for euro, so on and so on. All right, now that we have all those done, uh, we're going to also go to come down here, and inside the About Us, we're going to create a slice in there. All right, and finally, towards the bottom, we're going to create a slice in here that will hold our HTML. All right, now that we have it all sliced up, we're going to go up to File, and we're going to select Save Optimized As. Inside of that, we could go back to My Documents, create a new folder, and we'll call this Website. Open Website. We're going to select and make sure the save type is HTML and images. We're going to save this as index. Uh, dot HTML. We're going to use the default settings and we're going to have select all slices. So it's going to save everything into this folder as a website. Now we select save. All right, and we should be all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. I'm going to select File, Open, select Browse, go to My Documents, Website, Index, select Open, and select OK. And sure enough, this is our basic website right here. Everything's all set up and ready to go. Now. 
this has gotten you to the point where you have something to actually work with. It's not a full complete finished site, uh, but that's then when you need another tool, either by hand or WYSIWYG, such as Dreamweaver, which is what I use, to turn this template essentially of what we've created for this page into a website. Uh, I'm going to do a another video and uh, look for it on YouTube uh, that will have uh, the rest of the instructions to how to take this EuroSkills page to go from this template to a full-blown site. Uh, thanks for watching and look for version 2 uh, which will, or step 2 which will be coming out soon.